Ahoy! Today's video is going to be about a feature that actually surprisingly few people know about, the battle mode 1 of Force Blader. BM1 for this class is quite special, because it does not have a fixed value of stats added. I mean, of course, if you look at the description of the activation skill itself, you get the stats listed there, but there is something else that is normally hidden. So you can see if I activate it now, a bunch of my stats change. Now everyone knows Force Blader as a class that is focused on sword skills, but here's the trick. BM1 actually benefits from magic attack. So I've borrowed a few of my items from my main character that only increase magic stats, a belt and an epaulet that are both magic based. So they don't increase any of the stats we're looking at except magic attack. Now after restoring my SP to 5 bars to make sure every other stat is the same, let's equip those items and see the difference. As you can see, a couple hundred points of magic attack made so much difference in attack, defense, defense rate and HP. And the best news yet is you only have to be wearing those items at the time of activation. Once your BM1 is on, you can swap them back to sword items and enjoy the benefits. I don't actually have any sword items to replace them with now, but even after removing them you can see the stats remaining the same. Another thing to note is what you see at the moment of activation. That refers to the blade enchantment buff being removed for the duration of BM1, and instead the game looks for your strongest magic skill and adds its values to your stats. Now to be honest, I don't exactly know how that works, and if anyone knows the details he's welcome to explain that in the comments, but the point is, you should keep one of your attack skill slots for a cannon skill from expert skill rank. It's really enough to just have it learned and maxed out, you don't actually have to cast it or anything. Now of course, if you're a force blader, you probably won't be keeping items like what I just used. But there are many other ways to gain magic attack that are a lot cheaper. You don't have to use palladium grade epaulet or sage belt over plus 15, just whichever you can afford. You also have the option to create a pair of gloves. Highest grade gloves may come with plus 40 or even more all attack up epic option. And magic attack scrolls to fill the slots with are almost free, so you can easily get over 130 points from a pair of gloves. Additionally, you can create a blue bike with all attack, epic and magic attack slots and even a costume if you have one to spare. And finally, you may be asking why anyone would use BM1. Well, the main answer is survival. I mean, come on, my character is level 178 and doesn't even have any real armor on it, and in BM1 it already reached over 13,000 defense rate. I reckon a well-geared force blader could easily reach over 16 or 17,000, which pretty much makes you invincible even in high-grade dungeons. So I hope this video helps all the force blader players, and as usual, the comments are open for questions and discussions. Ahoy!